Hello there, person. Check it out. Some new stuff making the game Raid Binder. This is um, this is some steps towards making this a really interconnected world. Um, before we have uh, most of the the development so far has been focused on creating um, the PvP map and making sure the game is really fun when you play PvP. Uh, now we've got this ship world where you can go to your ship and you can use your helm to tra to travel to different planets. Look at all these different planets we could go to. Uh, the vision for this is for this menu to actually be a star map, so I'll create some kind of pixel art star map. But for now, we've just got these uh, listed as just words you, of different uh, worlds you can travel to. Um, so let's check out what happens when you move. Let's move to the planet Vixon where uh, this is the PvP. I, I've got to come up with some better names or something to help you know the fact that this is a PvP world. But um, when you start playing, really you only have access to one planet, and that's the training world, which is Garces. And uh, so basically, uh, you'll you'll start out... Actually, I could show that... Nah, nah, let's not, let's not actually reset all the settings and stuff. But, uh, basically, you start off with your ship not docked anywhere. Um, you're just floating out in a world with uh, some clouds outside and stuff like that. Um, and then you you use your helm for the first time, and you travel to the planet Garces. And uh, Garces is where you do your training world. And after you've done your training world, then you get the coordinates to a different planet, so you can access the PvP battles from then on. So right now we're at the planet Garces, and um, we can go over here and we can use our uh, plank to get to the world. And um, this is where um, I'm going to have some big old doors that open up, and you have to kneel at this sort of altar right here to get the doors to open up. And uh, I don't have this implemented yet, so when I kneel right here, this is just going to turn invisible and it's going to look weird. Uh, but we've got a cool thing where we can basically just walk off the screen right here and once this is all finished This will be a really cool scene where the doors open up and it looks really epic and um, Yeah, so Let's see what happens basically so see how they just basically turn invisible, but you can walk off the screen now That's another tr screen transition which happens and now you enter this training world which also, I'm coming up with ideas on how to make this fun, how to integrate this into the world. Right now, we've got a lot of different elements in this training world, which make it like so all these little, uh, every little step along the way, you learn something new. But how to actually integrate this and make it fun and make it more, uh, more, less like a tedious process and more like a actual fun thing where you're exploring, discovering, gaining items, things like that. Um, so that's that's it. You're basically you would go through the training world, and oh, oh, after the training world, you'll be taken back to another part of this dock world. Like I'm thinking there'll be like some kind of do a one way door or something like that on this other side where you you take you're taken back there. You gain some rewards for every time you go to a different planet and you do something like you go through the training world or you go fight a PVP battle or maybe you do a co op battle something like that. You come back after that and you gain rewards. You gain some light points, which you can use to invest in your character. You gain experience points. You gain credits, which you can use to at your forge to uh, buy new items, build new items, things like that. So this is the last bit of... Uh, of um, I haven't worked on this this week, but this will be where you can buy items. So we got a short sword, guard sword, a cloak, um, helmets, pauldrons, all these different pieces of armor and... And also abilities too. So this is where where you're you're gonna start off with abilities like the bow, but then some of your your more advanced abilities like the boomerang or um, or a gun, for example, those will so you you start off with a ranged weapon, right? But then you can buy better ranged weapons or more ranged weapons, and then you'll be able to equip them and things like that. And then you come back here to your light. I'm calling this the meditator or the light object or something like that. But basically, this is where you come back to this. This is where you can use this thing to spend your light points. And this will be all much improved. There's a lot left to do with this screen to improve this as well. Especially with the animation right now. She's not even animating. But yeah, there will be some kind of cool animation. When you even open this an this window, I'm thinking your character will animate and it'll look really cool. But also, um, 
Uh, every time you up up one of your pips right here, like you gain a little point towards HP regen, your character will do some kind of cool animation. And then the whole general navigation of this menu needs to be improved as well. So there's a lot left to do here in this menu. Um, in fact, I don't even think I can exit this menu until I've spent all my points right now. And also there needs to be some... Um, some some level gating so basically you're not going to be able to go and just come in here and upgrade your fire uh, ability which is really powerful like you add fire to your um, fire chance to your attacks and you're gaining a really powerful thing where you're setting enemies on fire and the fire can spread and the fire entities can do more damage than than you ever would really with your own just regular melee attack so, uh, so some of these need to be behind a gate level. So like you, you need to be level 16 or whatever to even get ice. Or maybe there's a prerequisite, like you have to get one of the other um, attributes before you go and get that attribute. So a lot left to do here in this light menu. Um, a lot left to do over here with the forge. And there's still a lot left to do with docking these, these the ship at different planets. But really cool to have this like... This started, right? This is starting to look cool where you've got these like this world is starting to come together. You got this these boss doors where where you go like what the what the heck is behind this? These huge doors. And uh really this is starting to become more like a, a proper video game. Um we, you know this whole this whole PvP battle is really tight. I love the uh the battling world. Um but really there's a lot more to this game I want to create and uh make it really fun for players um that are interested in just co-op or um you know what i mean some people don't really enjoy pvp as much some people really enjoy co-op more but this is a multiplayer game at its heart it's about playing with others it doesn't matter whether that's pvp or whether that's co-op um e any way you slice it this can be fun so i'm trying to create a game where that's it's really fun to play multiplayer no matter what your style is of multiplayer um gaming so yeah there you have it really some giant steps forward with this video game here this is like just this i can't believe this all happened in one week where we've got these different worlds you can dock at with your ship but um progress is being made and progress is being made swiftly so i'm happy about that uh thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you next time with another one later